Hi, my name is Ryan Shell with Development Counselors International, and today I'd like to take a moment and discuss Foursquare with you. Specifically, there's three things that I would like to highlight. First, what is Foursquare? Second, how consumers are using it. And third, ways that businesses can use Foursquare. So to jump right in, let's talk about what Foursquare is. So I'd like to read directly from this slide, the first two sentences, so read along with me. It says, Foursquare is a mobile application that makes cities easier to use and more interesting to explore. It is a friend finder, a social city guide, and a game changer that challenges users to experience new things and rewards them for doing so. That second sentence is a whole lot, um, that it helps people find new friends, that it can be a city guide, which I'm living in New York City, I'm kind of a newbie, I've been here for almost five months now. Um, it's really helped me find new things that I didn't know about the city. And then, you know, the game aspect that Foursquare has, I'll get into that, that's a big one. And then rewards them for doing so. That's ways that that's hitting on ways businesses can utilize Foursquare. But as of August 2010, Foursquare put out some data saying that nearly 3 million users worldwide uh, were on Foursquare. And that number has grown since. Um, they haven't put out a, an official statistic, but that'll give you an idea of the depth of the site. And speaking of websites, this is the uh, a graph showing the statistics of Foursquare.com over the last year. Um, you'll see that in 09, not a massive amount of visits to the website, but in 2010, things seriously took off. And you'll see there was a small dip here in May, um, but dips happen with all websites. And one thing to keep in mind is that most people that use Foursquare use it on mobile devices and don't exactly go to Foursquare.com. But, you know, regardless of this little dip, um, Foursquare has a massive amount of use right now. So a quick fact put out by Foursquare, they say that Foursquare users are 38% more likely to be asked for their opinion on products. So as a business owner or someone that's, that's running a place, this is going to be important because when someone checks in, there's a high likelihood that they're going to share that information with friends and potentially be asked uh, their opinion on things. So I, you know, it's something that should be important. So here's an example of the uh, the growth of the location-based market. So in 2009, it was a $96 million industry. But by 2012, they're saying it's going to be up to the $512 million range. So mobile is going to continue to grow, and I wouldn't be surprised that if by 2012, the number is even higher than what estimates have it as of, uh, as of right now. So let's talk about Foursquare and, and the check-in process. So I will walk you through a check-in as, as a mock check-in that I did sitting at my apartment when I was making this presentation. So the building across from me, it's called Two Gold Street. And I, I pulled up Two Gold, and if I wanted to check in, I would simply click check-in. But before doing so, I want to walk you through what we're seeing on the screen. So this is the location. If I click Special Nearby, that's going to bring up Nearby Specials. Um, it's telling me that Raphael P., a little picture of him, um, that he's the mayor, and then some tips that are about or nearby to gold. So if we were on my iPhone, I would just click check in here. And the next screen that's going to come up is telling me uh, that two gold street apartments is where I'm wanting to check in. This box is where I can type a quick message. Um, I can choose to share my check in with friends. So you can easily just click yes or no. Great privacy controls here. And then the, the really great option is you have the ability to share your Foursquare check ins on either Facebook and Twitter. And I think those are two very important things. And up in this message box, you'll notice that you're limited to 140 characters, and that has directly to do with checking in on Twitter. But you can easily just check or click both buttons with your finger, and they will, the option to share on Facebook and Twitter is turned on or off. So I could type in a message, I want to share it with everyone, and then I would click check in, and I'm good to go. One thing I mentioned early on is that, and that Foursquare mentioned in their summary, is that they create this game. And I typed here the creating the game mentality. In terms of usage, that is very important because I think once people start to use Foursquare and they get hooked on the game of Foursquare, they will start to use it more and more. Then they're going to pull their friends in, and then just, that's how this has worked. And Foursquare has seen so much growth so quickly. So in talking about the game mentality, one thing I reference is badges. And this is a uh, image that I pulled offline of someone's iPhone, and these are just different badges that have been collected. For example, when you check in for the very first time, I believe you get the newbie badge. And then if, say, if you're in a city and you check in uh, at various places, and or, uh, you'll get an adventure badge. And I, I don't know what every badge uh, requires for the check-in because there's a ton of different badges within Foursquare. 
But friends can compare, okay, you know, who's got the most badges? And it might seem a little dorky, but people do this. And once you start using Foursquare, you're going to do it as well. And you're going to start trying to figure out how you can get more badges and you'll essentially be playing a game with yourself. But Foursquare also has user data that you'll be able to see how many check-ins you've had. And I've seen instances where friends kind of see who can check in the most places um, of like-minded places that they visit, who can uh, have the most check-ins, who's the mayor, and, and, and so forth. And I'll explain mayor in just uh, right now, actually. So mayor, that is the probably most esteemed badge you can get on Foursquare. And that's for the person that has checked in at a location the most. And um, we'll get into in a little bit how businesses can incentivize people that are mayors. So moving on to uh, more screenshots from my iPhone, what can happen is uh, if you check in at a location, certain tips might pop up or things that um, you would be things that you might want to do. And when you check in, you can save these things that you wanted to do. And Foursquare has now created, um, if I can find my mouse here, this to-do list. So say I checked in somewhere, I forget where I was, but I was near Macy's. Um, and this tip, it was really cool. And I was like, oh, I really want to do that. On Thanksgiving Eve, watch the balloons being inflated for the next day's parade. Um, so it kind of gave me a tip on when and where I could do that. So pretty neat. So I saved them to my to-do list. Now, there's also this tips button within the Foursquare application. So what you're seeing on the screen now is another screenshot from my iPhone. And I checked in. I forget where I was in the financial district of Manhattan. But I checked in, and I'm friends with the Downtown Alliance. And when I checked in to whatever the location was, some tips popped up from the Downtown Alliance about locations within the financial district and some information that I previously didn't know. So it's a great way to get informed about a specific location. Moving on, this is getting into more of the business side of this presentation and how businesses can utilize Foursquare. Um, and what you're reading is offer check-in incentives. And let's explain that really quickly. So on the screen, this is an example of a frequency-based check-in, and you'll, you can read it pretty clearly, 10% off any item every third check-in. It's a great way to incentivize people to check in multiple times. Um, you could say, yeah, you know, if you're a restaurant, free drink, free order of fries, whatever you decide that may be. And you can offer um, these check-ins within foursquare.com, um, but that, that's a little more in-depth than we're going to go right this moment. Another example of a check-in, first-time check-in offer. So say if uh, I check into X location for the first time, you might give me a free drink, a free order of fries, or, you know, what? again, whatever the example um, or, or item you would want to give or whatever incentive. Um, but first-time check-ins, very good. And the check, the kind of the ultimate incentive is for people that are mayors. And these would be incentives that might be a little more prestigious. So if your first time check-in is a free drink, a mayor check-in uh, might be a, a free meal or something like that. For this example, it's happy hour anytime for the mayor. On the screen now is an example of what, uh, this is from foursquare.com, and this is an example of an, a winery that is in Finger Lakes Wine Country. It's Fox Run Winery. And what I've done is I've just typed in their address um, that's telling me I've not checked in here yet, 82 people have checked in at Fox Run Winery for a total of 129 check-ins. And it looks like uh, the winery hasn't been claimed yet. I, I don't think that would be there if it had. Um, you're also seeing a tip down here, and we'll get to that a little later. And it's also saying Tom S. has checked in twice, and he's the mayor of Fox Run Winery. So if you uh, are a business owner and you go to your location and you're noticing it hasn't been claimed yet and you want to claim this venue, I'll zoom in a little, and you'll just simply click uh, the button that says, do you manage this venue? Claim here. And it's going to take you through a five or six step process um, that will require you to do a few things. It's uh, pretty painless and very easy to do. On the screen now are some statistics that Foursquare is eventually going to roll out to all of their users. They haven't done so yet, still in beta, but I think once they do it, it's going to be really key data. So to talk about just some key metrics, total check-ins to a location, your top visitors, um, who's checked in, uh, the most check-ins, and some check-in stats and some breakdowns. Um, I think your top visitor section is going to be pretty important. Right here, uh, it's, it's blurry on the screen, but these are going to be individuals' Twitter user handles. And that's going to be very important because say someone checks in at your location, you get a notification that, hey, so-and-so just checked in. You could pop over on Twitter using this information and start a conversation with them uh, and really engage your consumers and people that are visiting your location. So I think it's going to be highly valuable once this is rolled out to all users.
And another example of how businesses and even states can use Foursquare, the state of Pennsylvania um, partnered with Foursquare and they created a series of badges so that when you're going throughout the state and you're doing certain activities and you're checking in, um, for example, I, I don't know that this is one, but they might have a museum badge that after you check in at three museums, you get the museum badge. But they have multiple examples uh, of different badges that you can get. And that's just a way a state uh, has partnered with Foursquare. But I think it's from a tourism standpoint, it's a great thing to do. So this is an example of a page for Finger Lakes Wine Country that DCI created. Uh, the advantage to having a page is it's kind of an open location that people can go see on Foursquare. You're going to have a header, brings a little life to the page. So you offer some information about the location and you can even offer various web links. What you see here are tips that Finger Lakes Wine Country has provided. So when I check in at X location, a tip might pop up that was brought to you by the folks at Finger Lake Wine Country. Um, pages are really great and I would suggest that um, businesses really try to get on board and have a page. And speaking of the tips that I'm that we pointed out right here, uh, Finger Lakes probably has maybe 50 tips at this point. But for example, uh, the winery that I showed you that I checked into earlier, here's another screenshot of that. And here's a Finger Lakes Wine Country tip that was already popped, popping up once I checked in. So here's an example of how businesses can implement Foursquare on their website. So let me back up one screen. If, if we were online and I could hover over this tip right here, um, there was going to be an option to add it to my to-do list and then there's a, another option and then the, the option to embed this in a website. So if I were to click the embed option, this box is going to pull up. And there are several different buttons that you can choose from, um, whichever color option you might like, and then there's some code. But here's how this might be used. Let's say you're a tourism-focused website, or you just have a business, and you're offering ideas on things to do, um, or let's say, just keep it generic, bed and breakfast. And on your bed and breakfast, there are things that people can do um, when they visit the area. So if there's item number one, under item number one, we could add this Foursquare button, so then if I visited the site, I could say, hey, I want to do that. Then I would click the button, and then quickly add it to my to-do list on Foursquare. And this, here's, this is why this is great, because several years ago, if you were going somewhere, you might have a Word document, and you might do research and figure out, all right, these are things that I want to do, and then you have to keep up with the Word document and figure out how you're not going to lose this document when you go on your trip. And, you know, it's a whole process. You've done it, I'm sure. But now, when businesses start adding these buttons on their page, I can now just click this button, add it to my to-do list on Foursquare, so when I'm in X location, I'm going to have things that I wanted to do and it's all right there on my phone. And it's going to be a really impactful thing, I think, uh, in the future. And more and more businesses are going to have to look at, hey, when do we want to start adding Foursquare functionality to our website? And it's something that I really recommend. So again, my name is Ryan Shell with Development Counselors International. And this has been a quick presentation on Foursquare. Thanks so much for watching.